New materials are important for energy storage because we've reached a fundamental limitation in how previous chemistries have um, coupled to the products that impact our daily lives. Your cell phone battery is only going to last you a day, right? Your electric vehicle is only going to take you a couple hundred miles. And to really go beyond that, you need to develop new chemistries um, that just aren't even imaginable today. So the electrolyte genome is a project that aims to be able to screen molecules for electrolytes for primarily for energy storage, but it could also be used for other kinds of applications using computations and doing it in a high throughput manner. We're using supercomputers to screen for what types of materials we could put inside these devices that would be more energy dense than what's there today and would not have side reactions. If we go with the traditional way, it would take us decades to explore um, the electrolytes to, uh, to compute the properties that we are computing in electrolyte genome. With faster computers and the infrastructure to run thousands of calculations, we are able to predict electrochemical properties of thousands of electrolytes before actually synthesizing them. Well, maybe there's stuff out there that they haven't thought of or haven't played with or haven't tried. And so that's what the genome project can do for you, where it's using a computer to look at thousands, tens of thousands of different combinations of elements to find that next thing that no one has thought of yet. We were at a point where the genome became the tool that helped us overcome the barriers that we were having in our research. And so from these screens, um, we were able to identify a few lead compounds that we eventually synthesized in the lab and validated the predictions made by the genome. And this was really an eye-opener to us. And I think that, again, the, the versatility within which you can create genomes to inform the design of the materials that go into your advanced technologies, I, I think the possibilities are endless. When I started as a graduate student um, in, in, way back in Sweden, it took me a year to do one element, one single component, one property. So today, when the algorithms have gotten faster, and primarily the computers have gotten a lot faster, we can now do thousands of materials in a week. It is quite the paradigm change, and I'm not using that word lightly. <laughs>